All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The nymph video is uh, Danny Joseph and Dion Jones uh, go deep singing. Uh, it's a man's man's world. Come from the voice, guys. All right, let's go and check it out. Let's see where this takes us. <laughs> I know the song very well. Lyrics should not be needed here. Okay. But it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. Right. All right, guys. So definitely, we're coming from two different, um, seemingly at least, different genres of music. Uh, definitely, vocally at least. Um, so the first guy who sang, he sings amazing. Um, the second guy comes in, maybe he's a little bit more suited for, uh, let's say, R and B, maybe right? R and B soul. Uh, he's definitely running in a way that uh, I'm not sure I've ever heard runs being done on a song. Um, that sounds like this, guys. Let's go. Okay. The church cigars. You see, now I made the call oh. to take us over the road. Say it, Danny. Now I made the train wow. to get out of the mm. road. Right. No man made the electric light bring us out the dark. The band is in their pocket. Let's go, guys. And our baby boy Man makes them happy, Lord And what do you give them? Cause the man knows how to make them toys Right They have to mammy care Oh my God Everything he can You know man makes some money You see man makes some money To buy To buy from other men Give it to me, give it to me. Okay, who put these people on the stage together? I think that's probably the main question here. Because um, obviously, you know, we, we uh, follow the voice for a pretty long time now. Uh, and my main concern is, I don't want either of them to go. Not after hearing this. Nope. Not at all. Even though I do think that they sing, they're singing from two different genres, they're both delivering immaculately. Okay. Uh, I think that they are probably one of the best uh, in their genres. No doubt here, guys. All right. Uh, vocally, absolutely astonishing. Again, I don't know why they do things like this because I think I'm pretty sure one of them has to go home and it doesn't make any sense. But let's go. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh, 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 who sang it better? I don't know. <laughs> they, they sang it differently, right? I think that's the main thing here. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I literally get right. away right now. You're both such characters visually. Danny, everything about your style, you're just so original and such an incredible singer. Dion, same thing. I love your tone Absolutely. so much. It sounds yeah. so vintage to me. Like it sounds like the records that you heard growing up. And every time Danny would do something so eccentric and 
animated, you would come you bring in it back and be like, in. you know, watch this. And yeah, you had yeah, your yeah, own yeah. character. So he was like, oh, bro, you think you're going to take off on me? That's not happening. Together, it just works so well. I love the performance. Reba, this is a really hard choice. <laughs> oh, I mean, this has got to be one of the best performances we've seen. Just because super fandom over here, I would maybe go with Danny. But you're both absolutely so gifted. Thank you. So great. So gifted. Okay, so this that is Team so Reba. Much fun, you guys. Dion, I loved watching you. It just started, it got like hotter and hotter. And I was like, man, he's going to keep going. And it was, you know what's and difficult too? And I'm not, I'm, this is the honest to God truth. It is so hard to sit beside Gwen Stefani. Really? What? Yeah, it's hard. No, it's Be not. It is hard because there's a stream of consciousness that comes out of that woman. Okay. And she's really <laughs> smart. And she's Aww. really intuitive. And all of the genius things I was about to say. <laughs> That's so you're, you're just you're saying them before I say them. Oh, my God. And so God. basically, uh, what I want to say Ooh. is everything that Gwen said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is, this is a Gwen's world. <laughs> First of all, that song is, like, deep. And the way you guys sung it, y'all sung it with the same conviction and the same passion that James has. Like Gwen said, it wasn't just singing, it was performing. Oh, and yeah. that is a part of having a voice that you have to have a performing component. If I was to have to make a decision on who I would choose, Reba, Go ahead. I don't have to make a decision. Oh, now, you see my dilemma? It's my personal dilemma right now, too. I think they both sang it amazingly, just differently. Uh, and I do think that um, probably whatever you're used to listening to more, um, like stylistically, that's who you're going to end up leaning with, guys. Right? Um, and I think that's just how this works here. Who is more palatable to the listener's ear specifically? Like based off of a lot of like the, the vocal ac like acrobatics, guys? It depends on your ear. <laughs> you know that's my favorite line. <laughs> what you say, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There you, yeah. go. <laughs> you always hit me with that. <laughs> Thank you, coaches. Or not. Or not. <laughs> right. All right, Reba, you got a tough decision here. Give us some thoughts on the battle first. Danny, you came out just like you did on the blind auditions with that raw energy and that raw. gravel. And it's just like, I'm here to tell you a story. And you did. And Dion, the soul in you, when you sing, it comes from your toenails. <laughs> I mean, it's just that energy just goes by your gut and your heart, and that's what comes out. You both did a magnificent job today. Well, Reba, you got a tough decision here, but the time has come. Let's see. Let's Who see where this goes. Who is the winner of this battle? This is a tough one because y'all are both great. The winner of this battle is Danny. Yeah, guys, it purely just comes down to exclusively your ear. The reason I like Danny so specific much is he's listener. different, and that just stands out to me. Way to go! I didn't expect it. Thank you. Whenever you hear him on the radio or stage, you'll know that's Danny. Coach, let me remind you that Dion's available to steal. Oh, he's going to get stolen. Dion, anything you want to say to your coach? I just want to thank Miss Reba for the opportunity and to have this moment to be on a show like this and deciding to go after my dreams and everything, as you told me, everything happens for a reason. Give it up for Dion Jones, everybody. Ready to go, Dion. Ready to go. No boy. steals. Come here, come here. No steals. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. You almost killed Reba. I had to steal Dion. I couldn't let him go home. Seems like he can do almost anything with his voice. He's not only just a good singer, but he's a great performer. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I got from this man's performance. Absolutely spectacular, guys. Not a single complaint. Um, guys, um, I have not seen much of this season, so definitely tell me uh, if there's anything else that I should be encountering, uh, you know, from either of these artists, guys. Let's go ahead and do this, all right? Um, let me know in the comments. We'll get into that as soon as we possibly can, all right? And in the meantime, listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this type of content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see uh, more of this specific type of content, okay? Um, in the meantime, 
See you guys later. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.